Hey guys, what is up? My name is Vlad and this is my reaction to The Good Place. This is the second episode. Last time on we've met Eleanor who died and woke up in The Good Place where only good, very good people get. Um, but apparently there was a mistake because uh, Eleanor is not a very good person. So she uh, got there because of, I don't know, something uh, went wrong with their perfect scoring system. Uh, so now everything is going crazy in a good place because apparently uh, some weird things uh, happened because of Eleanor, like giant bugs or people dressed like I don't know I don't know why the, why the why they dressed uh, like uh, yellow and uh, black because she called that other girl a giraffe but there were giraffes uh, other than uh, everybody's clothes I don't know but she asked uh, her soulmate uh, Chidi to teach her to be good and I don't know we'll probably see where this is going right now previously on the good previously on lost cool Eleanor you are this is a mess morally speaking this is a putrid disgusting bowl of ethical soup okay well, putrid we just chill and go to the Chidi, chill. and talk it out after. Hello, front desk lady, magical slave robot. Excuse me, Janet. Hi there. Can anyone access our search history, or is this an incognito browsing situation like when you're stalking a Hotmail man from your work computer? It is 100% confidential. Now, what kind of pornography would you like to see? No, ah. no, 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 not porn. I, um, I, I need clothes, like yours and Chidi's with the stripes. Okay. We don't know what it is. How long it will last, or what caused it? No, where it happened. Here. Yes, thank you, Janet. The chaos happened here. One little flaw can lead to Gary over there. Hey, Gary. Hang in there, buddy. Oh my God. <laughs> and what do you do with sweat? Do you, do you lick it away? Is that right? Nope. You dab it with a cloth. And then you lick the cloth. That seems murder. Michael. That was my first time in a fashion sense, and I did not care for it. Fashion don? Where did you get a chalkboard? It's the good place. You can get anything you want. Chalkboard? Even porn, I what guess. Oh, great. So you've decided to help me. I don't know. There's a thousand questions. Is there a moral imperative to help you? Do I have a greater obligation to my friend Kate? I was just put here by mistake. Because Michael called me Eleanor Shellstrop, so he knows I'm me. Give me one fact that you know about me. What country am I from? Is it racist if I say this question? Yes. And Africa is not a country. I am from Senegal. Where did I go to college? Trick question. You did it. I was literally a college professor. You were born in Phoenix. You went to school in Tempe. You're an only child. Your favorite show is something called The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And your favorite <laughs> book is Kendall Jenner's Instagram feed. Kendall How Jenner's. You know about you, Eleanor. You are too selfish to ever be a good person. What country am I from again? Sen Sudan. That is a brand of toothpaste. So the only thing. It's time to pick a designated driver. Let's see. I see that. There's no need. Everyone here believes in my integrity 100%. Right, guys? This is a record. I did that out of principle. Again, out of principle, let it wash over you guys. Yeah. All right, okay. Let's get started. <laughs> Things have settled down. Line. Okay. Uh, if I might, I was just thinking earlier today in all of the chaos, <laughs> large hordes of this neighborhood were distraught to help clean up the debris. You know, it's probably a fun way to band together as a community <laughs> in the good place. I guess she won't be really volunteering. Inspiring. Well, uh -huh. all these people are passively flying to pick up garbage all day. <laughs> Have fun, nerds. 
I don't think Sam threw the air like a fork and bird. Eleanor and I would love to help. There's something fun that you want to do, and then there's something less fun that people are doing for the common good. Which do you choose? Hey, up there. Having fun? Or does it maybe suck? Probably. Well, I wouldn't call it fun. I'd say it's like 50 million simultaneous orgasms, but better. How's Bob? It reminds me of my time in Vietnam, picking up mortar shells with my godmother, Diana. It doesn't really matter if it's because she's a princess or not really important. Princess Diana? Say, really? Well, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Other sparrows? That's also dead wrong. See, I must have made a mistake somewhere, and it led to all this. Yeah, chaos. you did. I'm just, I'm just terrified that it's gonna. Soulmate. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Should we say it at the same time? All right. One, two, three. We must help Martin. Oh, you sly devil! Keep me on my toes, won't you? All right, come on. Let's go. When I thought of the afterlife, I totally pictured being an unpaid, non-flying janitor. Us too! <laughs> <laughs> you guys I have had a pretty full day of being unselfish. I've made some new friends. My area is almost garbage free. So you're going to help me figure out how to stay, right? Well, that is a really tough question. Aristotle thought the moral virtue was something that you could get better at. He he compared it to playing the flute. The more you practice, the more you improve. Aristotle, because my boy was there. He was the best. I mean, most people agree he was the best one. So I've narrowed it down to two possibilities. Yes and no. Well, no worries. Just hit me Logic. up when you're done weighing when you're done weighing my life in your hands. I'll just keep doing what I do best. Afterlife. Super considerate. And fun. Full disclosure, I forgot we were doing this new system. I got off work early. I've been here for about an hour, and I'm already pretty drunk. Someone else will do it. Good call. One million flavors together, and yet somehow I can taste each individual one. It's remarkable. I got no flavor. <laughs> That's all I deserve, really. No. Look, I, I appreciate you trying to cheer me. Doggy. The whole neighborhood is compromised. Oh, hi, doggy. Dog is out. Nice try, puppy. Whoa. What the fork? <laughs> Have you seen my dog? <laughs> Janet, I'm finished with cleanup and I'm ready to fly. I mean, that brings me pure joy. People think I'm a roller coaster. Okay. Thinking I'm a roller coaster. That's weird. <laughs> it's working! So here's the situation, Vito. I kind of kicked your <laughs> dog into the sun. But I got her back. Everything everything seems fine. No, no, it definitely feels love. Do you actually want a dog that loves you a little bit more? Because I can kick her right back into the sun and get you another one just like that. No. Stop kicking dogs, please. I'm making things worse. All right. What just started raining trash out of nowhere for no reason at all? Ah! Oh, okay, fine, fine. My bag broke and I ditched the trash instead of taking it all the way to the dump. This is a relief. I can stop my deliberations. You are a selfish person and it is pointless to help you. You are on your own. How about this trash, Storm Gunner? More cleaning up to do. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dream come true. Okay. We're okay. Yeah. You can't die here. I mean, come on. I mean, it's my duty to be calm and in control, and I'm falling apart. Oh, Michael, you are a paragon of fortitude. You're a mountain of strength. I'm not a mountain of strength. I'm a canyon full of poo poo. <laughs> Yes, yes, I understand. The strength is inside me. It's been there all along. Obstacle. Oh, thank you, John. You thank you. I'm back. This water tonight, huh? Designated driver. Yeah, it sucks. And I think it's awesome. I mean, someone's got to do it, right? I. It sucks that I can't do it more often. You know, I actually prefer it to drinking. Oh my god. Good news, Eleanor, you have a very important choice to make. 
If you blow us off, you are banned from Thursday night drinks forever. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'll see you guys at work. Peace. You, let's go. Hey, how did you know I was here? I saw you from my window. Okay. That's where I live, by the way. Not that you ever asked. What are you doing? I thought it was so I my thing. Went to all the places where I jumped. Hey, yeah, fine. I felt bad for stupid Gunner and stupider Antonio and the whole neighborhood. I felt bad about what I did. It was a weird feeling. Not used to it. Didn't love it. I will help you try. Oh, wow, man. I swear I won't let you down. Hi there. I collected the worst smelling garbage that I could find. Do you still want me to dump it inside of Antonio's house? What? No. I did not tell you to do that. You are local, girlfriend. She woke up, went there, and decided to uh, get all the trash inside Antonio's house. Oh my god. I know what you did. I didn't get to fly. I'm sorry. No, I've had to ban flying for a thousand years. Too many injuries. One resident hit a fireball with turkey flesh. Always singing. Seen you. Anyway, enjoy your coffee. We're gonna have assignments and quizzes and papers, so it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Remind me what I'm getting out of this again. You get to avoid eternal damnation. Oh yeah, right. I got you a present. What? Synagogue. That's not a present. That's just common decency. Yeah, but I fork in the oven. Good talk. Hmm. You don't belong here, yes. <gasps> oh, shoot. Someone from your love. I missed another doctor. Okay, second episode flying. Uh, this was fun. Uh, got some more not more got some first lessons of being good from chidi uh, uh got some flashbacks of uh eleanor was she a bad person yeah i mean she so she decided to eat the whole uh pieces of paper just not to drink uh and not to be a designated driver wow okay uh and then i mean if she's so selfish like literally so selfish would she really agree to finally be a designated driver that one night uh i mean it didn't work out because she met that hot bartender but, uh, like, she was w willing to do that before that. Uh, is that uh, consistent with her? I mean, as f the moment uh, she meets this bartender, she's like, okay, I don't, uh, I don't need this Thursday drinks or whatever. Uh, you can go fork yourself uh, and I'm gonna fork this bartender okay I mean I don't know but it, this was fun and uh, then she uh, I mean I know this is like for the sake of a joke but would she really like feeling bad waking up to go uh, clean all this trash uh, but then we uh, find out that she did this to dump this trash in Antonio's house? Really? I mean, really? Or was this like the small uh, amount of trash? Like just, okay, I'm about to clean, but I'm also uh, gonna uh, do something bad for Antonio because he pisses me off. I don't know. I don't know. That was fun and weird well like not consistent with the story maybe i don't know 
got some message uh, slipped under the Eleanor's door. So somebody knows that she doesn't belong here. Uh, wonder where this will uh, go. Um, wrote some words that I need to translate because I didn't get uh, some of them. But I will do this after. Uh, uh, yeah. So I guess everything else we will find out next time in the third episode of The Good Place. Um, I don't know how much uh, this show is like uh, one-off episodes uh, with uh, some internal story that doesn't necessarily uh, connects with like the bigger picture or is this like uh, uh, or is this like a one streak line that we follow along this season or maybe the entire show uh, are we gonna lose characters I mean if yes then how because uh, as we've seen uh, in this episode people cannot die because they're already dead and that is well that makes sense uh wonder if we will get well obviously we will get some new characters but um i don't know and will the entire show take place in this good place or maybe we'll meet another architectures and their districts or whatever towns Maybe we will come back to Earth, uh, not just like in flashbacks, I don't know. But we will find it out probably next time. Uh, so thank, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you like that, please like and give me some feedback. Uh, and I'll see you next time in the third episode of The Good Place.